I have a research group, uh, quantum circuits and mechanics, and we make uh, devices in the clean room that we try to measure and exploit quantum effects in our measurement systems. We, you know, when we measure our devices, we often generate uh, high resolution multidimensional data sets. And what is important for my students is on the fly while they're measuring, open this data up, explore it, uh, visualize it so that we can really understand the data we're taking and make decisions on the fly of the next, uh, the next thing we want to do in the experiment. So we have some home built software that I wrote as a PhD student in C++ a million years ago. And we wanted to translate this into a modern uh, Python uh, Jupyter Notebook compatible tool, which, uh, which we could easily envision would be also useful for other people that want to explore uh, and quickly visualize their data. Uh, let me say to start, uh, modern research involve you cannot do modern cutting edge research without good software skills and this is something that has become super clear uh, certainly in my field but in all the researchers i talk to if you can take advantage of the software uh, and ict technology that's available you can dramatically accelerate your research and in fact if you don't uh, do that then you're going to get left behind very quickly so having a centralized team and and resource of people that understand both the technological side, how to do the research software engineering, how to really write code, really get in the dirty of it, but then also understand what the high level needs are of the researchers and also reuse the knowledge they learned from other researchers and other groups in the university. This is a this is a, a hugely tremendously valuable resource and it would be a shame if I pay external companies who then learn this resource and then take it away from the university and we have to pay them again to get that knowledge back. Uh, uh, so I think that having a continuity of really skilled people uh, who can do the coding that goes beyond the the, the skills of, that I should be expecting out of a physics PhD student, uh, but is actually absolutely necessary for us to stay at the edge of cutting edge research internationally, that is something which uh, is highly valuable for the university to invest in.